This is the Sony Bloggy Touch. Now it looks like a mobile phone and it feels like a premium mobile phone handset as well with a nice metal casing, but it's an HD camcorder. It can take HD video and also 12.8 megapixel stills. But what's different about this camcorder is that it can also take 360 degree stills and 360 degree video. Now in order to do that, you're going to need this attachment. It comes in a case which looks a bit like a vacuum cleaner attachment. And inside is the lens adapter, which fits onto the bloggy like that, making it look a bit like a lighthouse. Now there's no clasp there to hold it in place. It's magnetic. It's a very snug fit and it's certainly not going to fall off. Now these 360 degree photos and videos look a little bit like CDs when you view them on the screen or even on your PC. But there's some software bundled on this device and when you plug it into your computer through this USB arm on the bottom here, you can also use the connector if you like, then it automatically installs the software onto your PC so you can unwrap these 360 degree images. So we'll just take a look at a few of those now. So first up, here's a 360 degree still image. And I have the same image unwrapped. Now you can see that there is some glare that's been picked up on the lens adapter that's come off either computer screens or windows or even lights from above. So those were some stills. And if we just look at some videos, This first one is of Oxford Circus, and this is before it's been unwrapped by the software. You see it's quite an interesting effect. And then some that's been unwrapped. It's the same clip. You can see there's some distortion and you can correct that a little using the software. Now the Bloggy has a built-in accelerometer, so it knows when you're shooting in landscape or portrait. So landscape is how a typical TV will look, uh, but you might want to shoot in portrait. Sometimes, however, when you shoot in portrait and you play it back on a TV, you have to turn your head to one side to be able to see it properly. But this isn't the case with the Bloggy. I've got an example here. Now usually, well Katie's the right way up there, but usually if you're watching that, you might have to turn your head. Now that was it without the adapter. Here it is with the lens adapter on, and you're gonna see some big fingers coming in to remove it again. And this is a bit exaggerated, but you can see that there are some fingerprint marks there, and it's easy for that to happen because the lens sits so proudly. Now because you can only really use the bloggy at a maximum of arm's length, you are in close-up in all your clips when using the 360 degree lens adapter. Now, one way round this, well, you might want to use a tripod and set the video rolling and put it in the middle of a desk or a table or at a meeting or something like that. Um, also, if you don't want to be in the clip at all, you might want to hold it above your head like that. But when I was doing that out and about the other day, I did find that I was getting quite a bit of glare in the uh, screen, so I couldn't really see what I was filming. Now I'll show you some of the clips taken without the lens adapter. Uh, and the quality is not too bad. I've got some just here. Now the first one I want to show you, I shot in Regent's Park, and it shows off the digital zoom, which is quite clunky. You can see the pitch quality is not bad. It's not too bad at panning. Uh, there is some delay when you go from left to right. Uh, here you can see the four times digital zoom in action, and it is a bit a bit jerky. The next clip I just took without moving the camera at all of a fountain. And the Sony Bloggy has the ability to capture 30 frames per second. It is a little bit juddery there. And I'll just show you some still images as well that were taken without the converter on.
This is one using the digital zoom of the BT tower. There's quite a bit of grain there, but it's pretty reasonable. Some nice colors in that one of the bikes. And a lovely shot of some pigeons. So that's the Sony Bloggy Touch and its ability to capture 360 degree photos and video. Now we have a batch of reviews fully lab tested HD camcorders on our website and you'll be able to find out more details about this Sony bloggy touch there too at which.co.uk.